What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel Kano Physics and today I want to talk about embracing the crushing process and building discipline for a positive perception in life. For me over the years it's been a daily grind of discipline, consistency and prayer. Self-improvement that forms a foundation for a fulfilling life. So let's dive in a little bit. I've come to realize that the journey towards personal growth and success has not always been glamorous. It's about embracing the uncomfortable, getting up early, facing the shock of cold showers, pushing through workouts, and dedicating time to prayer and self-reflection. This process, though challenging at times, it's what molds us into better versions of ourselves. We often hear the metaphor that a diamond is made under pressure, and it's true, but with that being said, we tend to focus on the end goal a lot, thinking that reaching a certain destination will make our lives perfect or make everything better. However, I learned that true fulfillment comes from embracing the crushing process itself, the daily grind, the repetition, the discipline. In these moments that shape us and prepare us for what's to come, Despite the challenges that life may throw, the crushing process serves as a blueprint for our growth. Its platform not only allows us to keep moving forward, to keep seeking what we want out of life, but through the discipline and the hard work, it builds a solid foundation for our personal development, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Most importantly, the crushing process helps us to build a healthy, positive perception of life. It teaches us resilience, patience, the value of hard work. As we push through challenges, we develop a mindset that sees obstacles as opportunities for growth and setbacks. It's like a muscle, it gets stronger and stronger. I was just having this conversation with a group of close friends I served in the Marine Corps with. Not only did we talk about the everyday crushing process that we experience, and motiv motivate each other, but we started sharing our faith with, with, with one another. We've been friends for almost 20 years now, being out of the military, but I'll tell you this much, our bond, our brotherhood has never been more stronger than ever since the day we started praying for each other and sharing our faith. We were saying how everything that, that has happened, the ups and downs in the last 20 years has brought us to be and become the men that we are today leaders in our community, in our family, and in our workplace. But as we navigate our own crushing process, it's not about, you know, we realize that it's not about the end goal. It's about finding meaning in that crushing process, almost wearing it like a badge of honor. Being proud of the, you know, the, the tiredness, the fatigue that we feel. But before I close this video, I wanted, I wanted to, to, for you to take a look at your own crushing process. What kind of crushing process do you have right now? If you have one, and if you have, if you have one, what has it taught you so far? Reflect on the growth that it has brought you. And if it's been plenty, then guess what? Keep doing it. Every successful athlete will tell you in quotes and in most interviews that they've done, being consistent in all the boring stuff has allowed them to be the successful af athletes they are today. The late Kobe Bryant has never been too good to shoot a free throws for hours at a time. Floyd May Mayweather was never too rich or successful to throw jabs for hours at a time. Consistency and discipline is one of the hardest things to obtain in life. We could all become champions, but staying champion is the real fight. Hope that resonated with you. That's all I have for today, guys, but thanks for tuning in. If you found this message valuable, don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more content. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep crushing it and stay quantizing everything. Thank you.